I think they're done mowing here on Monday, April the 24th. <clears throat> Thank you, Minxie. She says hello. Um, I've been thinking about making this video for weeks. I don't know, just something that's been in my head. Uh, mostly because I want to put my stamp on it <laughs> and see if I'm right. Oh, they're done mowing, but apparently they're not done um, weed whacking um, or blowing or blowing things. But no, um... Okay, <laughs> I think we're good now. Um, in the interest of just scatter shotting, hello again, Minxie, thank you. And just talking about whatever random thing uh, topic comes to mind, um, American Idol. Now, it's been renewed for, like, what, two more years? So, no matter whether my interest in it is waning or not, and it is, um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I say. They're going to be on TV for two more years. Anyway. And there are lots of people in the comment section, you know, having thoughts and opinions. So there are still plenty of people that do enjoy the show. I myself, personally, I thought maybe it was the auditions. The auditions are all the same. Everybody comes in the room and they're like, oh my god, you're so great, you're so wonderful, um, you're so um, in inspirational. Like, all the stories. I'm like, I just, I don't even, I don't even necessarily care about the stories that they, that they tell. Um, I mean, I guess they put a few quirky ones in there, but it's not like, you know, they used to put people with Simon, you know, he would tell them, your shit, you know, and it's kind of like, I guess you want to see the your shit singers get told their shit. But, like, everybody's good now, it seems like. It just doesn't seem like there's really, you know, I mean, some people, I guess, are on the fence. They, they need a few more years to grow, whatever. I don't know. So I thought maybe I was just tired of the auditions. Um, but then came Hollywood Week, and I'm like, oh, Hollywood Week started. And then it's kind of, I mean, I guess there's always the same drama. They always have some, pull out some stupid bullshit, like some twist, some kind of something. Um, <laughs> I don't know if Minxie agrees or not, but so then I was like, oh, well, it's Hollywood week. And I was like, I just, I still don't think I care. I still don't think I'm interested. I'm like, maybe once the live shows start or once people start, um, like voting, you know, but apparently that happened this week. Um, I kind of keep forgetting that it's on. Um, there, there was six contestants, I think, um, that were that were kicked off last night. And I, I think that's part of my problem with it now is, you know, back in the day, like, what, we used to have, like, our top 12 or something, and then, like, one person would get kicked off at a time. Um, I guess maybe that business model isn't really um, lucrative for them any longer. Because it's like, I don't know, I felt you, you got to know the contestants a lot more back then. You got to root for them longer or something, uh, you know, it's kind of like, I mean, maybe you knew your favorite wasn't going to last through the whole thing. I mean, you kind of hoped maybe, but now it's just kind of like, we have like, like, I don't know, like 200 marked down to 50, marked down to 12, marked down to three. I, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's like fucking Game of Thrones or something out there or, you know, Hunger Games, whatever. <laughs> it's just kind of like all these people, like, I, I just, I don't, I don't feel connected really to anyone anymore, necessarily. I mean, I have some singers that I like that I've, you know, followed since the show um, happened, since I've seen them on the show, that I wouldn't... But it's like, I mean, in the last few years, who's actually put out an album? Like, what's it, what's it all worth? You know, like, what is my time? Because <sighs> American Idol takes uh, maybe not as much time as it used to, but, I mean, it what, it was a three-hour episode last night, if I read correctly, on TV Line. <laughs> Makes he says hello. <laughs> Don't knock over my camera. Um, yeah, see? That's what happens. Uh, it was like a three-hour episode, and there's another episode on tonight. I'm just kind of like, I don't... I don't... I mean, I, I do have the time, I guess. Um, but I just... I guess I don't have the desire to sit here. And it's like, I mean, you could... Fast for why do we need judges? Seriously, like you you just sit there and tell everybody that they're great. 
like, because, I mean, they're all good singers. I just kind of like, I don't know, like, maybe the judges should just take a back seat at this point. Like, you picked the contestants to put in front of America to, like, you know, f for them to judge. And stop saying it's become a popularity contest. It's been a popularity contest ever since Kelly Clarkson won it. Because you open it up to people to vote, it's always been a popularity contest. <laughs> the, the person with the most votes always wins. Every time, that's a popularity contest. I mean, maybe in the back in the day, people used to vote more on who they thought was a good singer. I don't know. It's just, I just, I just don't feel like you have your favorites, you vote for your favorites. And that's it. Like, that's a popularity contest. It just is. I don't know. So, like, maybe, maybe the judges should, like, pick the contestants and then just turn it over to us. Like, we don't need to hear you say every single week, oh my god, once again, the same shit that they say during, <laughs> during the auditions. You're so great. You're so wonderful. You're so inspirational. Blah, 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 blah. The last time I can think of, I was trying to think of it the other day, it was when Steven Tyler still, it was on Fox, you know, when he, when he was one of the judges. Because there was some singer that came out, the last guy that I really felt like took a chance and did just something like batshit crazy. Um, he sang, I feel like he was an Asian guy. And I feel like he sang um, the theme song to Perfect Strangers or something. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> Means he's really wanting to be involved today. Um, <laughs> but no, he say I think it was the, the theme song to Perfect Strangers or something. He came out and he just like, he just ran around the stage and ran around the audience and, you know, like he, he really livened up the joint. It's the last, um, memorable performance that I can say that I've seen. Well, I guess, I mean, I did enjoy Maddie Poppy, um, her audition. I think that's part of the fun of it. Uh, maybe we'll get to that point in a minute. Maddie Poppy singing, um, not stop it. That's for Minxie. <laughs> That's Minxie's theme song. Stop it. Um, Rainbow Connection. But it was, I, I remember it was the, it was the, the season that Steven Tyler was a judge because he was, he just got so mad. He's like, I don't think you're taking this seriously. Like he was just so mad. And the guy felt bad for like taking a chance and like, you know, just kind of having a fun, like ridiculous performance. I think that's maybe part of what I want to see because everybody now is just so good. Like maybe I don't have fun with it or something. Like I don't just have these batshit crazy, like, um, you know, like these, these performances that like everybody just gets up there and sings good. And then the judges are like, you sang good. And then I, everybody claps. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I think that maybe that's part of why I used to like to watch, because once again, I said I want to put my stamp on this. Um, <laughs> like, I liked Maddie Poppy from, from her very first audition, and I even posted on Facebook, I'm like, I don't know if she'll win, but I like Maddie Poppy. And then she, uh, like, I didn't think she had a chance, because country does too good on this show. So for um, the guy that was going up against her, who is apparently, I think, still her boyfriend, uh, whose name I can't think of at the moment. Um, like, I really, I thought he was going to win. But then I was like, oh, Maddie Poppy won. Okay. Um, but it's like, since then, I mean, we've had Just Sam. She's kind of a, that was kind of a weird year because that was like during the, you know, Corona and people were doing the show from home and stuff and whatever. But I mean, American Idol, even though it has shifted to, ABC still has the uh, white guy with guitar problem that uh, Vote for the Worst used to call them out on. Um, and yeah, they do. They do. Um, thinking about the last, you know, the, the the winners that we've had since, you know, whose names I had to look up the other day. Um, the, the guy from last year, was he last year? He, he has a, uh, he has an EP. I don't know if that's considered a full album or not, but it's like six, um, Chase Beckham, that's, that's who it was. He has like a six, because I was like, I was look, trying to look that up the other day. Has anybody ever, has anybody even made an album? I know Maddie Poppy did, and she's, she's had a single since, um, her first album, but it's like, has anybody, like, I know Lane Hardy was talking about, but the Corona could have 
you know, held that up, I guess. I don't know. All that bullshit. Um... But, like, I think Just Sam, I don't know if she ever put out an album. She le she left her label, as far as I know. Um, there might have been some more drama there. I don't know. But, so it's kind of like all this time, and it's like, they don't even put out an album for their winners. Like, they don't even do anything for them. Like, maybe, <laughs> like, m maybe worry about getting out an album for your previous winner before you go crowning a new one. You know, or just keep it churning, because it's, it's all about, um... It's all about um, ad revenue and yada yada yada, what you can get, which is probably why the show is the way that it is now, with just going so fast, is that's the only way that it's still profitable for anyone to do it, is to just do it quick, get it over with, done, move on, you know. Um, but I guess that's always part of the fun of watching the show, was picking somebody... Um, from the auditions, and you're like, well, that person, that person's good. I think they've got a good shot at it. Or just knowing kind of the, the, um, you know, recipe, I guess, for being a good American Idol, um, or American Idol winner. Um, I picked the guy, who was the guy before Chase Beckham, or the guy last year? I don't know. See, I don't know. I don't know. But I saw him in the auditions, and I'm like, he's gonna. If he gets in the competition, he's gonna be a good. He, he's gonna be a hard one to beat, and he was, cause he won. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Speaking of winners, uh, I haven't seen a single episode this year. Um, but going by the the formula for what makes uh, an American Idol winner, I'm gonna say the top two at this point are I am Tongi and Oliver Steele. Haven't seen a single episode, don't know anything about any of their personalities, whatever. I wrote down for White Guy with Guitar Problem, I also wrote, da wrote down Warren uh, P P A. I don't know, and Colin Stowe? I don't know. Um, Oliver Steele seems to, like, from what I've seen, recaps, whatever, I haven't, I haven't even watched a clip, I haven't watched a single thing from, uh, from the show, but Oliver Steele seems more, uh, rounded, I guess. It seems like uh, Warren and Colin are more maybe one lane country singers, more country singers, and country does well on the show, don't forget. But Oliver Steele seems to be kind of more, he can go kind of, you know, rock, kind of, from, from what I've seen of people talking about his performances and whatnot. He can kind of do both lanes, like country and, and pop rock kind of, kind of vibe. Um, and I am Tongi kind of, I wrote these names down so that, especially Alejandro, I couldn't, I couldn't, I was trying to think of Alejandro a while ago because I am Tongi kind of fits that from what I've seen, like the Willie Spence, um, the Alejandro, he's got, he's got the lovability, he, you know, people love him, he's their favorite contestant, and, you know, he has the, he, he's apparently something unique, you know, his, his artistry is something unique, so he kind of fits the Willie Spence Alejandro lane with that. So that's why I'm going to say here on April 24th, um, I Am Tongi and Oliver Steele are your top two this year. And we'll see if I'm right or not. Um, I, I, I don't mean to brag, but I pick them fairly well, usually. <laughs> So we'll see. Apparently, they're there. There's another episode tonight where they're losing even more people. They're getting down to a top twelve, I think. I think it's a twenty. They they got down to top twenty, and now they're down to top twelve. That's like eight people are out the door, you know. So I don't know, but I'm gonna put my stamp on that. I, I'll, I'll cover. I don't even know what this other information is that I have up here, but that's what that's what I wrote down up here. Top two. <laughs> I am Tongi and Oliver Steele. We shall see. Uh, but other than that, I guess Minxie's done with us. Uh, they're not blowing anything anymore. And I'm out of uh, battery. So I'm going to shut this up. And um, there is a new Mountain Dew coming out soon. I might get that just for an update of what I video may or may not be coming up. And I will see you for what I see you.